In this video, I'm going to be covering some of the uh, real-time work that we're doing. I figured it's time to start sharing some of the uh, cool things you can do with Dexy beyond indoor position hold and flight, and then start getting into some of the more interesting applications of programming. Now, Dexy is ROS2 based, obviously PX4 with position hold using the ARC board. So right here in the bottom left, I'm working to uh, show all CPUs because we're going to do just a simple benchmark analysis of the load average. These are all the Dexy nodes running. In the top left, I have a Dexy powered up. That's currently the camera view with Dexy on the ground. Um, in a minute, we'll work towards uh, holding Dexy up and detecting a marker. In the top right, I'm running the ROS2 Aruko node. This node subscribes to the camera image raw topic that you can see at the top left. And when it detects markers, it will then uh, publish the marker ID as well as the markers uh, pose in the uh, bottom right window. Therefore, I will subscribe to the topic and uh, listen for any data that comes in when the marker is detected. So right now I'm just getting a list of topics, demonstrating all the, the PX4 ones that we have available for us. Those will be useful for navigation. You know, these are ROS2, so we'll be able to uh, publish to them either with Python or drone blocks. But specifically here, we're going to uh, be concerned about the Aruco markers. I'm going to echo the output of the Aruco markers topic. So now you can see in the bottom right, we're currently listening. And then I'm going to walk over to Dexy, which is powered up with the live feed. And it's currently about six feet away from a marker on my garage door. We'll lift it up and you'll see immediately, if you look in the bottom right, uh, these markers or this specific marker which is id0 is being detected you can notice when it goes out of view the nanoseconds does not update but when it comes into view you can see that it updates pretty quickly and then now i'm stepping back a little bit to about going from six feet away to about 10. once again i were seeing this update don't worry about the, the pose estimation right now. We have some work to do there. But for uh, basic uh, detection, you can take that information and then either turn on a LED or trigger any sort of a GPIO as you're uh, wiring things up with uh, marker detection. I've taken a screen grab here from our test. When the marker was in view, you'll notice we have a overall average of 81%. That's on the higher end of where we'd like to see this be, but we'll do some comparative analysis with April tags. And I will also call out, this is a Python node running on top of the OpenCV uh, Python library. So there's a lot of room for optimization and we'll share that in the future. Wanted to share that update. If you have any questions or comments, Please feel free to leave them beneath the video. And until next time, thanks for watching.